I first saw an exhibition of uh, the Winnipeg Sketch Club. And I think the very first one was in the archives building. And I wandered through that, and that would have been in the 60s, I think. And I thought, geez, I think I could do this. <laughs> When we come to the sketch club, we have 20 minutes at a time where it's complete absorption. Your brain is really, really, really focused, hyper-focused. The, the only sound you hear is the sketching, the sound of the sketching and maybe the squeaky uh, horses that we sit on. What you're really doing, you have a piece of paper, a two-dimensional piece of paper in front of you. And the idea is to produce a figure that is three-dimensional on that page. That's very, very difficult to do. You do that with a lot of shading and the proportions, of course, like the foreshortening is very, very hard. And I think, I really think the human figure is by far the most difficult. It's not that bad to draw a tree, but to draw your feet or your arms or the entire body on a page is a huge challenge. And it takes years, years to, I will not use the word perfect, just to finally get it together. I think it takes a lifetime. The club was formed by uh, Alex Musgrove, who was at the time uh, the first uh, president of the Winnipeg School of Art and also the Winnipeg Art Gallery. He uh, formed the club to give his former students an opportunity to continue drawing from life after they graduated from the School of Art. He noticed that uh, there was kind of a, a gap there. When the students graduated, they had no place to go to, to keep practicing their, their drawing and sketching from, from life. He thought this, this would be a way to, to give them that opportunity. And that's how the club started, and it's uh, continued along that line to this day. The main focus of the club is drawing from life. When the sketch club started in 1914, um, at that time in Canada, the artists, there's a lot of artists who, who were trying to develop a Canadian style of painting. And I think uh, it was a precursor for the Group of Seven. There was a lot of Group of Seven artists that their goal in life was to develop a Canadian style of painting. And, uh, and the Winnipeg Sketch Club kind of started around that time. And, and I find that fascinating because they, I think they were uh, adding to that dialogue. Uh, Winnipeg at the time was uh, well known as an art center. Uh, with the Winnipeg School of Art was highly regarded. And so uh, I think that uh, the people that were members of the Sketch Club at that time, uh, you know, had a, had a say in what Canadian art was going to be. The quality of the artists who had been members over the years, some of them are, are quite famous and have been uh, like nationally and internationally recognized. The first one that comes to mind is, is uh, Leo Mall, who's uh, very, very well known in Winnipeg and internationally too. He would say that when he came to the sketching sessions, he would say that this is like his, uh, his practice, the same as a musician would do the scales. Uh, doing sketching was the, kind of the same exercise for him. Another one that comes to mind is Charles Comfort from the early years. He, he was a member back in the 20s. They've been members of the Winnipeg Sketch Club, so it kind of gives you a, a good feeling to be um, involved in an organization like that. October 9th, 1969. This is an interview with Miss Lynn Sissons about her art and her knowledge of art in Manitoba. The openings that we had at our Sketch Club, we, the people who just jammed the place, even the three big rooms, and uh, we went all out. We had an orchestra. Yes. And then in the evening, the students and their friends came back. We had the orchestra again. We had a dance. Oh, what a nice custom. We did that for several years. They did this every year. The sketch club did. Yes. It. Yes. The history of the sketch club is important uh, because then you become one with the people that were started the sketch club. From joining the club, then I could see speaking the same language as Alex Musgrove or Charles Comfort or Lynn Sissons from earlier times and you, know, you almost connected yourself to the, to the past of the club and I thought that was really interesting, really important.
I think when I first joined, the, the club was um, more focused on social activities than it is now. Our membership has turned over quite a bit o over the years, and I, th I think the reason for that is mainly because the club has had to change our location so many times. We've been in, in this venue at the Forum Art Institute for, uh, I think, just over three years now. But before that, we were moving, we, or we were forced to move like almost every year or two years. And in the course of all these moves, people, they get used to going to one spot. They don't like to, to, to change venues and the membership drops off and you know, just the way that things are. I think some of the challenges are probably still the same. You're always recruiting members and you're always trying to move forward. One of the challenges that is new now that I think was not so much years ago it's finding venues for exhibitions. This is Winnipeg and a number of venues have closed, a number of galleries have closed. So we're looking always for places where we can hold exhibitions. And years ago, there were far more in Winnipeg. I think when it comes to art, uh, artists have always been artists, they've always drawn since they were children, since they were young. And that stays with you always. When I started painting or I started sketch, and so I, I'll do a quick, really quick sketch because I just need to express myself. And, and literally 10 minutes later, I look up and it's four o'clock in the morning. So it just melts away in terms of what you do, how you concentrated you are to something. And so after, um, once you see the painting, you don't see it really till three or four days later where you haven't looked at it. And then you look at it again and then you see what what, what you see in other people's paintings. You see something that's, oh, there's, there's something there in terms of uh, an emotion or, a, or a, a flavor to it. I think one of the pluses of being here is during our breaks, you know, we walk around and we look at other people's work and I always admire what they do. And then, then you can ask, well, how did you get that? And people are very open to help each other and they, they do respond. And that's part of the club. That's what makes it so good. When I started in the club, I realized that uh, we all spoke the same language and we all uh, saw the same things in artwork. We have different styles and different ways of doing things, but we still all spoke the same language. It, you know, it, the years melt away when you talk about art. For certainly for me, they, you know, years don't really matter. Um, one of my best artist friends is, is uh, 92 years old. But when we talk about art, she's 25 and I'm 25. The social interactions that you have here, they spread out to the rest of the community in Winnipeg. And I think you feel more part of the community out there. I think since I've joined, I know so many more people that I knew before. And the connections you have, you make so many more friends. I've learned a great deal from being here. Well, yes, it's connections. It's, it's connections because you enjoy the same things. And it's also uh, connections with people. Every individual is different and it's fun to get to know them. And uh, uh, it's just a very pleasant thing to do. My art life is, is something that I nurture and I want to keep forever. Painting is something that you, you need to express. You need to give a message or say something. And, and that's really what painting is for me. And that's why I feel the club is really, really important. I've been uh, interested in drawing ever since I could hold a pencil. And I always wanted to be an artist. That was my main goal in life. I was practical enough to realize that uh, I had to make a living as well. I thought it was something I could do that was sort of related to art. The experience of drawing a, drawing a model from life is uh, much different than working from a photograph. I think of it as being therapeutic because you're, your mind is focused on the one thing and almost to, you block everything else out. When you're working on it, it's incredibly frustrating, at least it is to me. It's not coming together right, and, but all of a sudden it starts to come together. And then when the piece is coming to completion, there's a huge satisfaction in it. And it just makes you feel very, very good, you know? My dream for the Sketch Club uh, 10 years on would be to have a permanent place 
that is very comfortable for the members, um, that has um, the interest of the public through uh, whatever exhibitions we have, and that we do get uh, a draw of younger people in. I think that that is always a very good thing. You know, the Sketch Club, uh, you know, in 1914 was all new people. It was all, you know, young people, and, uh, and we can get back to that, but we have to get back to uh, what people are doing today in terms of interaction, in terms of uh, uh, relating to each other, and that includes uh, computers and a lot of, uh, of the internet and, and use of that to, to attract people. You're working with people that are motivated. You're working with fellow artists who do the same thing. And uh, they enjoy what they do. And I think it sort of ricochets. I think it kind of goes like waves through all of us. It's just a... Uh, uh a good opportunity for an artist to, to learn and to progress and to interact with other, uh, other artists in the community. It's hard to put into words though. Being a member of the Sketch Club has really become like a big part of my life. I think the majority of the people I, I know now are, are members or have been members or have, have some way been involved in art. You know, childhood friends that uh, they seem to drift away. You see them maybe once every two years, three years or so, but people at the club you see on a weekly basis, so they be, you know, they, you become closer to them. Oh, this is for me. This is absolutely for me. It, uh, it's, it's very personal. It's something I've wanted to do all my life and uh, it gives me enormous gratification when I finish something. What I'm looking basically forward is just growing within the art. There is so much out there that I don't know. There, it's vast. There's so much I've yet to learn to improve my art. And if this club has lasted for a hundred years, it would be wonderful to think it could last another hundred. <laughs>